All right, let's talk bikepacking. And today I wanted to show you through a setup that I've sort of put together recently for gravel grinding. This is meant to be a light setup that's nice to ride, but has enough storage to be comfortable and have a sleeping setup. And part of the reason I wanted to show this was to tell people that bikepacking is whatever you make it. You can carry clothes only and sleep in a hotel. You can carry a full sleeping setup and a full cooking setup and go completely off grid. But I think the setup that I'm gonna show you is how a lot of people are starting to bike pack now, which is just sort of with the basics, sleeping gear, spare clothes, spare bike parts, and just enough to have a good time, which is exactly what I did over the weekend. Had a nice 500 Ks in three days of gravel awesomeness, and it was brilliant. So hopefully you get some inspiration and some tips. I will name every product and link to it in the description below. Oh, a quick note, I don't know what it weighed. I'm a cyclist. I'm far too weak to weigh a fully loaded bike. I'm also too lazy to weigh a fully loaded bike because I don't really care. Let's do it. The heart of the bike is the Bossy Grit Titanium Frame, and this is really the most abused review bike I've ever had. It's a very well-made and comfortable gravel grinding machine with really just a couple of complaints from me being the water bottle cages are a little bit too high and there's no under down tube mount. Apart from that, it's been a very reliable and faithful frame. So let's look at the setup. The group set is the trusty Shimano GRX Di2. Some people find it a bit weird that I bike pack on an electronic drivetrain, but I would rather plug in a battery than change a cable any day. The shifting is superb, as is the braking and ergonomics. I am a big fan of this drivetrain and it has served me well. Tires are the ultra fast Pirelli Cinturato Gravel H in 650B by 45mm. These just roll insanely quickly and they're a little bit narrower than I would have chosen but the 650x50 wasn't available. Still though, a great fast rolling gravel tire. These wheels are from Bossy as well and they are Carbon 650B. I don't even know what they're called because I don't think they've been released yet so... Uh, Spoiler alert, there's a new wheel from Bossy and they're very good, light, fast rolling and super wide and super comfy. Really big fan of these. In the frame, we have the Apertura Racing Frame Pack. I like how it's easy to get in and out of and I like the fact that it's weather sealed. Just be mindful that the material covering the zip is quite sharp so it'll rub you raw if you brush your legs against it. Up the front, we have the Apertura Expedition Handlebar Pack in 14 liters. I like the way you can scrunch it down if you are not running it full, and I like the fact that it's waterproof. Clipped onto the front is the Apertura Expedition Accessory Pocket. Now this has to go on this handlebar bag, so you can't put it on any others. I like the location of this. It's a convenient place to put food and snacks and whatnot, but you need to be aware that if you're running a bike with a big tire, it can drop onto it. I've had this happen before on previous bikepacking trips and that's why it looks a little chewed up. Mounted to the forks, I have the curved titanium rocket cages and the rocket pooch bags. These are very well designed to go together. The bags have a simple Velcro locking system that puts them onto the cages with the top roll section being waterproof and a nice little sneaky section on the bottom not being waterproof but still being a handy place to stash things. This setup may not be cheap, but man, it is good and it is so convenient to get on and off. I really have come to like them. At the back is my trusty Apertura Expedition 14 liter dry bag saddle pack. And this has been through a lot of adventures with me. It's still going strong after three years, so absolutely nothing to complain about. One of my few gripes with the Bossy Grit is that the water bottle cages are mounted a bit too high, especially when you're using the amazing Zephyr Magnum 1 liter. This 76 Projects water bottle space maker is a great way to drop it down a bit lower so I can fit the bag over the top. Here's another cool little product from 76 Projects with the little piggy. A nice way to either direct mount or strap something onto your bike in any space you can find it. It's a great way to sneak more carrying capacity on. Some might have noticed that there's no feed bags or top tube bags in this setup and I am tending to find when I want to keep it light, those are the things I leave at home because they brush your legs and are a bit annoying, so I managed to get away without them on this trip. That left more space for the excellent exposure joystick light and the uh, Wahoo Element Roam which is not pictured. Bar tape is Cyclovation Grind Touch. It's very thick, it's very tacky and it's very comfortable on the hands. I'm quite a fan of this stuff. Last but not least, that leaves the Nog Mini Rear Light, which I borrowed from a friend because I lost mine. I think that about wraps it up. 
So looking back at this setup, there's not much I would change with the bike itself. I just published a video with my pack list from the trip and there was plenty that I would have chosen to change in that. But generally I'm quite happy with the bike. The only thing I would like is bigger tires, but they weren't available, so that's okay, that's on me. Let me know if you have any questions about bike packing or bike packing setups. Most of what you've seen here is stuff that I've had for quite a while, all the bags and that sort of thing. Nothing is really that new, just some of the 76 Project stuff was new. Oh, and it was the first time I'd used those curve bags. This is the great thing about bike packing over time is that you do build up a bit of a collection. It's not cheap by any means, but it does mean that you get to a point where you can just sort of grab what you need and just go for it. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found something of value in this video. Ride safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time.